Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, there's a pile of Kirby's sitting right there. There's actually uh, five of them there. Um, I think the two in the back are pretty much only parts. I've already scavenged parts off of those ones. But these uh, four other ones are actually, uh, I think they're fully functional. Um, but, uh, you know, the handles are actually sitting over there. Uh, those are, well, actually I have a total of nine. <laughs> there's a, oh, look what I got here. Anyway, there's the other, there's three more right here. And these are fully functional uh, Kirby's, uh, Centria and a G5 and a another Centria. The far one is actually a Centria. And um, I was just, uh, I'm just cleaning out organizing my uh, workshop here long overdue <laughs> but I just thought I'd just, just kind of give you guys a little overview of uh, the equipment that I have now this actually isn't everything that I have because I'm I um well go over here um, these are my th three of my four functioning rotaries and the other rotary the green one right which I you've seen many videos of that one is actually still in the van so it's not here um in the garage um, and uh, so I actually have uh, four functioning rotaries. Um, this was the one I just acquired right over here. Is a two-speed, a 300, 175-300. And uh, then this was my main backup that, um, machine. And then I bought this one a couple of years ago. This is actually brand new. This one has never been run before. This was the last MD-180 out of the factory in, in the warehouse. So I picked it up because I, I knew that they were such a good machine and they were not discontinuing this particular uh, model and I wanted to have it because it has the handle release up top right there center feed 70 I think it's um I think there's 74 or 75 pounds something like that um and of course I did the uh, modification with the big wheels on on these ones um this is actually the tank that my first one came with, which is a little bit smaller than th this tank here, which is actually a U.S. products tank. This was, I, I used this tank for a long, long time, and uh, I put this handy little um, seal, sealing lid on it, which was useful to have. And my old style of LED lights is an LED panel underneath this one, and a, a um, transformer in this junction box. That functioned well, uh, but I've got... My green one is a little more sophisticated now, I guess you could say, a little more streamlined. I do have another MD-180. Um, this is actually the motor for it right here. And uh, it's sitting over here. I'll show you guys this. Actually, I, I've had this one powder coated and, and I was gonna, well, eventually I guess I'll get around to completing it, but that's that's the, um, the frame and everything. Um, and I've got all the pieces for it, except I'd have to replace the motor, so. Uh, but um, I, I thought this was going to be a kind of a cool color, sort of a putty color, and that's a uh, powder coat, by the way. Here's the uh, there's the uh, the handle and, and the mechanism for raising it up and down is in there. Actually, it's not in there; it's out of there. But it, it, all the pieces are right here. This is all kinds of projects going on all the time. Oh, I have one of those too. See, that's the Sebo. Uh, CRB, um, it needs a repair. It's all apart, ready to go. I got to get a couple of parts for that one, and then I didn't actually use it that much, but it does work well. Um, they're very light and and um, uh, make a good scrubber. But I found that with when I that was when I got the Oryx and started using them, I I decided that the just the brush with the Oryx was going to do everything I needed one of those to do. So I ended up not using it that much, but anyway, I'll just show you what else I've got here. So those are my three of my rotaries, um, and I have two protein vacuums here. I used these for years as my as my vacuum, basically, um, and I really didn't dislike them, but um, they do have a chronic. They do tend to clog because of the way the the uh, air goes in and up the back. There's the kind of a, just the way they're designed, it would, they have a tendency once in a while to clog, which was annoying. 
I always carried a like a coat hanger or whatever to clean it out. Um, and the last couple times I bought them, hmm, it's interesting. I never noticed that. I think there's boy that one on the right looks taller. Is that an optical illusion? Does that look taller? Oh, maybe not. It's an optical illusion. Okay. Um, but anyway, I actually, um, this upper body on this one was replaced because the back side of it, um, it started falling apart. Just the plastic started just more or less cracking and it's just weird. And I've found that happening with them in the last few years. So that was one of the reasons I began to rethink what I was doing. And I, I went over to the Kirby's. I was using Kirby's for quite a while. Um, and they're very durable and I've, you know, you're wondering why do I have so many? Well, I've picked up most of these for under 50 bucks. I paid a few hundred dollars for a couple of the Centrias, I think, but the G4s and G5s, um, I've been able to find, you know, 40, 50 bucks. Sometimes I've just traded them for some carpet cleaning, you know, over a hundred dollars of carpet cleaning or whatever. So that was easy to, to, uh, digest, I guess you could say. But anyway, um, oh, let's continue with the vac vacuums for now. So we'll go back to the other stuff there. There's my old uh, Advance, which I did about $400 worth of carpet cleaning in exchange for that. And I did that maybe 15 years ago. That's been an excellent machine for wide open areas, hallways, condos, and things like that. Very, very well-made machine. I did replace the motor, vacuum motor a couple of years ago. And it is an upgraded motor, so it has even more oomph that it originally did um, but of course being as old as it is I'm not really sure I can get parts like the uh, brush roll motor or even the brush roll itself which is getting down there it's pretty near the end of its life as far as that goes so I'm not sure maybe one day I'll actually have to stop using it or maybe I'll retire first who knows <laughs> things, the things like 50 years old I think or something like that of course there's um, a sanitaire which I bought just a couple of years ago um, I wanted to give her Sanitaire a try, and it worked, they definitely have great power, they're very noisy, <laughs> uh, but I just felt that it wasn't quite right for me, um, so I kind of retired that one, it's not got that many hours on it, I can use it whenever I want to, it's all functional and all, it, I mean it's in perfect shape, obviously not much, not many hours, this was a, the Hoover Conquest was interesting, I bought it Oh, at least 10 years ago or so on a garage sale for five bucks. And I had it sitting around for a long time. I never did anything with it. And finally I decided I was going to get rid of it. And then I did a bit of research and I realized that this actually is a really good vacuum. So all I had to do was replace the brush roll and the bag was in really bad shape. And I actually had a, a sanitaire bag on the back there. It actually will bolt right on there. No problem. A little bit of modification. I had the sanitaire dirt cup on there. This, the Hoover Conquest originally does have a a dirt cup bag but uh, not as um refined as i guess you could say as the sanitaire one but anyway that sanitaire bag will will bolt on there i do have another bag set up sitting in the back there that i can i have to do a little repair on it and then i can put this one back together and it'll be functional um i've used it a couple of times for commercial work and it definitely works really well it's a it's kind of a neat vacuum. It's got an interesting belt arrangement in there with uh, a belt that goes to a pulley and then another belt that comes off the pulley to the brush roll. It's really unusual. Um, anyway, here's my um, my Von Schroeder, which has been my main upholstery cleaning machine for, well, I guess pretty much 20 years or so. Um, and the the head for it is actually in the van still in its bag. This bag here is my leather cleaning kit. I have various things in there for dealing with leather. This little case here contains the attachments for the, this is the the um, US Products PB1 sitting right here, which I've been showing videos on. There it is. I was uh, working on that yesterday. I just posted a video and update on that. So it's just sitting here um, and I'm hoping to use it this week. Um, and of course I do have the E600 upholstery cleaning machine as well in my van. Actually, I'm gonna have to show a video where I show how I have all this arranged in the van. Not all this, but 
what I do carry in the van. So I'll show you guys how I do that um, when I get myself um, organized here. I actually have to pull everything out of my van later because uh, we're doing a, my wife's father is moving and we're going to be reusing my van and I got a trailer. Oh, I'll show you my trailer. <laughs> um, I got to move him tomorrow actually. So uh, I bought this from a customer. You'll see that. What an excellent utility trailer. I mean, it's, the wood's rotten, but I could fix that easily enough. But it's got new tires, it's got a nice ramp, it's even got an extension on the back so that I can, if I wanted to, I could take a riding lawnmower into the back of this thing. Look how big it is. Excellent trailer. I paid 500 bucks for that. What a deal. Guy was moving out. I cleaned his carpets, bought his trailer. <laughs> and um, so, anyway, now we're over to the orbital machines and of course this is the um, Orbitech this is about 12 years old or so my main machine for commercial work I really like this machine I love the way it works uh, it's very reliable um, it cleans very well I like the balance I prefer a tank I do not like I don't like the cartridge system that the Orbot uses I find it clum clumsy and awkward I've talked about this before there's my Orbot um, I bought this about almost as it's almost as old as this actually, but I've hardly used it actually, because I much prefer this. My like my wife likes using this one though. Go figure. <laughs> so when we've done some bigger jobs, she comes along, and this is what she prefers to use, and that's fine with me. I do have the weight kit for it. Um, sitting over underneath the sitting right over where is it? Right there. And um, so. Um, and I've done a couple of modifications on it. I've got a different um, arrangement with the jet in there. I'll show you how that works. It's really quite ingenious. So, <laughs> I replaced the original lines they had, and I put this. It's actually an air hose. It works fine. And the, so when I want to put the the jet in place, it just goes like that, and it actually just oh, it's just a bit stiff, but it actually just rotates up and out of the way if I you know need to do that for whatever reason anyway that just cinches right down like that and it works perfect and uh, so it, it goes like that it goes like that it's nice and simple I like simple and I, and I prefer a single jet like I did on, on this one this one is a <coughs> um, this one originally had two uh, jets on it as well but I didn't like that and so I did as I put a hinge here, and this actually, if I bump into something, it'll just pop back. See, isn't that nice? And uh, it works perfect. Anyway, and of course I have a light on this one, and I do have a light on this one too. It's actually up underneath here. You can't quite see it. Or is it? Oh yeah, they're up. They're up underneath the uh, where it says Orbot. So when I turn it on, this glows and looks looks pretty cool actually. This is an orbit. Oh, this is a, also these these two are actually also orbit Orbitex. Um, this of course is the um, what they call the Easy Glide. It's basically the same thing as that machine, except doesn't have the tank, and you can see the handle releases on the front instead of on the back where that one is on the back. And um, I have used it, but not much because every time I've I put it in the van and I've taken it out and. And I've gone to the job, and uh, I pulled this thing out and started cleaning. And I, every time I've done, I've, after 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever, I stop and go, no, just not liking it. It just doesn't work right on residential carpeting. I don't like orbitals on residential carpet. Don't bother arguing with me about that. I get that, you know, a lot of guys do, but um, I am. I just like the the way the rotaries move, etc. And they clean just perfectly fine. There's nothing. There's no advantage cleaning wise with an orbital yes I've done it both ways um, this machine actually I did put quite a few hours on residential this is the Orbitech this was actually a 15 inch machine and I can in like a, just a few minutes I can switch this machine uh, or I can take the bell housing off of this ma this machine put it on here and I've got a 17 inch machine normally it was a 15 inches is actually the bell housing for this one right here um, and this is a wheels, of course that's a wheels down, and this is a wheels up. So um, when you go to use this one, you would just um, depress that, 
and uh, like a normal wheels uh, up rotor uh, or orbital it just kind of floats around and away you go um, and it's a really nice machine well built nice and solid you know it actually I probably used it for a good year I guess um, and um, explored all the advantages and disadvantages of orbital as opposed to rotary and uh, in the end I had to conclude that the rotary was a better choice that's my opinion oh notice there's a light there there's a fluorescent light in the back there so it shines down on the floor right below you know right right at where the machine is sitting and it works it works fine um, and of course I have Orex this is my older one this one started making all kinds of noise and I just went and bought a new one I haven't even opened that up to figure out what's going on it's probably just loose screws and I do have um, two of these that's the uh, Stepson which is what I used to use before I got the Oric but once I got the Oric then I realized well that's much easier because you can stand up and clean of course uh, steps whereas with these you got to get down um, on your well you know bend right down and do that and as the older you get the more you realize it's better to stand and work <laughs> um, try to work smart not hard right so anyway those are those are that's most of my um, equipment anyway um, and of course I do have the workhorse vacuum at Shark for doing edges. Shark, um, what do they call it? Um, oh, gone through my mind. Bullet, uh, no, rocket, Shark rocket bullet. <laughs> shark rocket for um, steps and everything, and that works really good. And uh, I have a hush tone vacuum is there as well. I have my also my my uh, sta my self-contained upright, which I use for subsurface extraction, works really well. And... Um, I guess that's about it for equipment in, in, in the van. But anyway, I just thought you might be interested in seeing um, my toys. <laughs> Do I have enough? Maybe, maybe not. I don't plan to buy anything more, but you know, if something falls into my lap. I, have a, I suspect there might be another rotary coming on them available um, in my uh, town in the next little while. It might be up for sale. I don't know if I'd pick it up or not, but... Uh, I only paid two hundred dollars for no, I paid three hundred dollars for that one, which is a good deal. So um, anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Just kind of trying to rearrange and clean up my shop. I got to sweep the floor. I dropped a whole bunch of screws and and uh, junk all over the place. That was a while ago, and I never bothered picking them up. But I was working on my uh, my um, PB3 yes the other day. I dropped that little. A little part right down in here where all my stuff was my equipment is here and everything and i thought oh there's no way i'll ever find that it's just a tiny little part but i did find it in the end so that's good <laughs> anyway i gotta i gotta clean this up so anyway have a good day and uh, thanks for watching